How's it going? I'm back again today on the back of one of my more popular videos and that was a review on an All Saints leather jacket which is here. Arguably loads of people commented on it, loads of people wanted to find out um, the style and where um, and how they could get their hands on it um, and really good value for money I think. The quality of the leather is fantastic and it's a really fashionable edgy jacket. Now what if I was to say to you you could get a Ferrari for the price of a Ford? You'd probably say nah but what I've got for you today is is a couple of leather jackets that I think are definitely uh, not so well known but the quality is incredible and the price is even better so let's give it a look hi everyone welcome back I'm glad some of you are back seeing this again and uh, thanks again for your support um, I'm picking up a few more subscribers now and that's really exciting and I'm, and I'm very happy about that and it's obviously showing that you're enjoying what I'm putting out. So it's from two, I would say arguably popular brands, but brands that maybe are not so well known about um, by everybody. All Saints is a brand in the UK especially that a lot of people, a lot of people in the kind of 21 to 35 age bracket really know about. And uh, I can't deny they make great leather jackets. But what I've got for you today are two leather jackets. One in particular that has been commented a lot on my Instagram posts. Um, and I wanna show you what, I, what these are today. So the first one is a, uh, is a leather jacket from Coach. Um, any of you who don't know what a Coach is, it's, a, it's, I would say in the kind of lower end of the luxury market, it's a, it's a popular brand for handbags and bags for ladies. And they make really good quality bags, um, backpacks for men as well. But what a lot of people don't realize that some of the clothing, especially the leather clothing, is, is just as good quality as the bags. The second jacket is a suede jacket, and that is from a very popular British brand, Jigsaw, um, made popular by the Royals. It's placed in the market, I would say, um, in the kind of, I would say most people wear it, let's say 30 plus, uh, probably a bit older than that. But I think a lot of people overlook this brand because they make in really good quality jackets and they're a good price too. Um, the main reason I'm bringing this to you today is because I recently purchased uh, a suede jacket from All Saints and when I got it I was really disappointed in the quality of it when it arrived. I was basing my kind of judgment of quality on this suede jacket here because as far as I'm concerned this is the best one I've got. We'll go over the pair in a sec but I want to kind of highlight to you this brand because they make, the clothing is very, is I wouldn't say plain there isn't too much edge to it. It's not, I wouldn't say high fashion, but they make very solid pieces and um, I think it's well worth a look. Um, so why don't we get stuck into the review. Okay, this is the first jacket from Coach. The big thing it stands out to, obviously, quite a plain design. It's quite a plain design, both front and back. Um, but it's a very classic jacket. Um, a lot of people say get black, black never goes out, but a good solid brown one will never go out too. Um, and especially in this nice plain design, the stitching all the way around is, is it's kind of, that's probably the most feature, uh, that's the most detail this jacket has. But it's nice, good quality, and it's thick, much thicker leather than that one, the All Saints one there. Um, it buttons up at the top here, and all the, um, the buttons, there's one on the cuff on each side, they all have this kind of nice little coach label on. From the old suspecting eye, you wouldn't really know what brand it is, and I kind of like that. It has a really good quality, big, heavy duty zipper on it, and I really like this part about it. Nice, good quality, and when you put it on, it feels good quality as well. Definitely a difference to the All Saints. And it's got a nice big leather toggle on it as well. Two nice heavy duty zip pockets on the side, and they're really big. But on the inside, it's a simple jacket, plain and I think that's what it does well um, just a bog standard uh, insert nylon lining um, it's got one big inside pocket with a coach detail on it there and it's got the kind of big coach authenticity label on the side there okay so anyway when it comes to the pricing of this as I talked about the Ferrari for uh, Ford price money so I paid 365 pounds for this but I did wait for the sale. This is a retail value normally of 970 pounds and I got this at the uh, the outlet store and it was also available online during the sale uh, at the end of season but I got it when it came to the outlet. They sent me an email 
in terms of, I would say, yeah, a Ferrari for for price money, you can't get any better than that. This is the same price as an All Saints leather jacket at full price uh, when it is in the sale. Now, I think obviously you have to be a bit savvy. You have to think about you know when you're going to purchase this. But if you can hold on and you can find a coach outlet or you and you can or you can go on the online store, um, I would definitely take a look at these. There is quite a few of them on eBay I've seen, so keep an eye out for them too. So. This is a suede jacket, suede leather jacket from Jigsaw. Now, you'll see the style of these jackets are both very similar. They're not as edgy as the All Saints jacket, which has its benefit because I would say that these are a bit more of a longer lasting style. That you'd be able to spend the money on these and probably keep them in your wardrobe for much longer as opposed to the All Saints one, which is a bit more of a centered around seasonal fashion. Uh, can't deny, again, everybody says an All Saints leather jacket won't go out of fashion, and there's a certain degree to that, which is true, I have to admit. And I'm not slating All Saints for one bit. Uh, so yeah, in terms of the style, you look very plain, again, very plain. Uh, the only detail on it is the stitch detail, and that is at the back too, very similar. And it's more of a how they, they, they're crafted. I wouldn't say it's actually detail that's been put in it. I think it's just the way the pieces of leather go together. Um, this is more like a, an olive green, but the, the suede on it is really good quality. Really good quality. Biggest upset I got when I got my um, All Saints one uh, a couple of weeks ago. I sent it back straight away. Was the thickness, the thickness of this the suede, and the thickness of these suede jackets are is very very thick. The thickest I've actually felt um, in a long long time, and this is what has took my eye on this jacket so much, and why I like it so much, is that suede jackets always seem to, especially at the lower end of the market, um, tend to be very thin. And that's the annoying thing about it, because essentially you're paying the same as a leather price anyway, but you just never seem to get as much bang for your buck, which irritates me. And I think a lot of retailers think they can snoop out on suede because it's not leather per se, but Hey ho. We'll go into the detail. So yeah, it's got a nice heavy duty zip at the front as well. Same as the um, coach one, which bit looks really good. There's no detail to say it's from a jigsaw from any, any other way other than the label on the, on the back here. You wouldn't know it's from jigsaw and most people don't actually. Cuffs are elasticated uh, on both sides. So there's not as much detail as the coach one and the pockets don't have a zipper, but they're nice and big at the front too. It's got a nice elasticated collar. And the thing I like about this jacket, it's kind of designed to be worn like this with a bit, a bit down because you see the more you zip it down, there's this internal section that comes here. Uh, and that's to protect your clothing as well. So you don't get caught, which is always a problem. So I like that a little touch, but you will kind of have to zip it up all the way to there um, to kind of hide that because it looks a bit odd when it's like that. On the inside, again, it's, uh, not as refined as the coach one and it's got a nice zipper pocket there with a heavy duty zip but the main thing that stands out about this to me is the quality of the suede the suede is so thick so good and it looks really um, impressive as well but these retail at about 300 to 400 pounds depending on the style uh, that puts them in the same bracket as all saints now the reason why i'm bringing this into the review is because i would say if you're going for a suede jacket I would stay away from All Saints. The quality just isn't there for me. Go for something like this, uh, a brand that is quite clearly not making as many as All Saints, um, but definitely pumping out much higher quality. So in terms of what you get for your money, uh, for the same price as an All Saints jacket, you're getting a much better quality of suede on a jigsaw jacket. And the style is plain and simple, and, and it's great. But if you do see a jigsaw shop, or you see a jigsaw outlet, or you see it online, I would urge you to go and have a look really, or even look on eBay for one because there's a lot of these around. It is that point in the market where people wear them, put them on um, eBay and, and such, and want to get rid of them, and you grab yourself a real good bargain actually. Uh, I've seen these on eBay for like 50 to 70 pounds, and, and then for the quality of suede, which will last a lot longer than uh, most, I think these are well worth a look at. So definitely the coach one in terms of its price bracket. The sale price of that one, hands down is best value you can get i think out on the market today and it beats any other leather jacket um if you would consider spending three to four hundred pounds i would definitely have a look at spending that money on a coach jacket this one if you're looking for a suede jacket in particular i would probably 
recommend you go and look on one of the second-hand websites, eBay, Depop, look for one of these, and you're definitely going to save a lot more money than you would um, if you were going to buy one of these brand new from, say, All Saints or another kind of big retailer like that, because you're getting good quality here, and there's a lot of them on the second-hand market for pretty cheap. So hopefully that's two insightful leather jacket reviews for you. I'm going to go into some shots with a bit more detail now. I'm going to stick some music on, so crank it up, put the headphones on, and enjoy the next minute or so, and uh, I'll be back. Right then, so what do you think of that? Hopefully that's uh, a good insight into two kind of decent quality leather jackets for you. Um, if you've got any questions or comments, you want to just put them in the comments box below. If you really like this video, hit the like button. But if you're enjoying what I'm putting out on YouTube, why don't you hit the subscribe button too? And definitely press on that notification bell so you get any notifications about when I post up new videos. If you want to see my All Saints video, I'll just put that in the tab here now. But anyway, uh, thanks for watching and uh, thanks again for coming back if you're, if you're a subscriber. And I'll catch you again soon. See you later. Bye.